in order to advance uh, and, and make a strategic impact and have a seat at the table, procurement needs to come forward with analytics and visual data that will make their case for them. Yeah. So my name is Rob Hanfield and uh, I'm a faculty member in the Poole College of Management at North Carolina State University. I've been working in the field of procurement and supply chain for around 25 years. Mm -hmm. One of the, the, the key messages from the report is um, that you really have to start experimenting with some of these different technologies. Um, analytics really is a function of good data. So one of the key things to get started on today is to be thinking about data governance, how you structure your data, where you collect your data, how you collect your data, etc. Uh, you know, how to take that data and to be able to kind of layer on different types of information. All of these different types of relationships that might uh, exist uh, among external events, internal events, and supplier relationships, and, and trying to link those um, to, to make better decision making and to ultimately identify and reduce costs that are not value added. Well, what surprised me, you know, is um, there's just a huge number of different providers entering the procurement space. We were able to discover over 164 different procurement platforms uh, trying to, to develop insights using analytics in the procurement space. That's an enormous amount. Some of those are, are segmented in certain industries. And, um, you know, even though there's so many, there really isn't that many that have really formed a definitive solution to, to driving analytics. Mm -hmm. The other interesting finding, I think, was the importance of talent. Everyone is saying, well, we need data scientists. But in addition to these data scientists, you also need subject matter experts and business stakeholders. And you really need a team of people who can help develop those questions and then help facilitate uh, and lead that analytics project. I think the report it, is, is, is designed to help people view uh, what the future looks like. And give them sort of a landscape of what future technologies might be able to do. Uh, but it also gives them really a firm grounding on what do you need to do today? What are, what are some of the fundamentals you need to get in place today that will prepare your organization and your function for this emerging uh, you know, world that we're, we're going into? To start small, um, you know, begin, begin working through some of the initial uh, projects, select a project, select a stakeholder, pick a project, try to work through it, learn from that project and move on uh, to the next one. And, and this ability to be able to fail quickly, learn and move on to the next project is important because you're not going to get it the first time. And uh, in a sense, what we talk about in this report is the fact that procurement needs to be uh, become much more of an R&D type of organization where they're, uh, this is innovation. This is a process of innovation that requires trying new things, um, working with new forms of data, uh, trying to understand a specific problem or outcome, and then learning from that and moving forward.